In this lesson, you're going to see an example of how to use a rotoscope tool in After Effects. I'm going to work quickly, but if you plan on following along, please feel free to pause the video at any time. We're going to roto this particular video so the final product will have the hand move above the phone's user interface or the phone screen. So this is what the final product will look like. So let's get started. Here's the original video. I already went ahead and tracked the UI or the screen on the phone, but the problem is that the hand is currently under the screen. So therefore, you're going to want to use a rotoscope tool and isolate the hand so that it passes over the screen. Since the footage of the hand is underneath the screen layer, you want to place the footage of the hand above all your layers, including the screen layer, and roto just the hand. What I normally do is copy the footage layer and place the copy at the very top. Then I adjust the endpoints to only where the hand covers the screen. In this case, the starting point begins on the frame where the edge of the hand is about to cover the screen, and the end point is where the hand leaves the screen because this is the portion of the footage you want to roto. Now you're ready to use the rotoscope tool. So go to your toolbar and select the rotoscope tool. Then select the layer you want to roto and double click that layer. Once I've double clicked into the layer I want to roto, I'm going to go frame by frame and roto just the hand. I'm going to use a roto brush and roughly outline the hand. Depending on your footage, when you first begin to use a roto brush, you'll end up rotating parts of the footage that you don't want. In this case, I want to roto just the hand and not include its surroundings, so therefore I'm going to want to subtract the unwanted areas. I can do this by holding down the Alt key and outlining the areas I don't want around the hand. The roto brush will turn red in, in order for you to subtract unwanted areas. Once I'm done with this frame, I'm going to go to the next frame and repeat this process of using the rotoscope tool on the hand and also subtracting the areas that I don't want. You can press the page down key on your keyboard to move forward one frame and the page up key to move back one frame. Make sure you focus on the object that you want to roto and using your mouse draw over the object. As you can see I'm quickly going frame by frame and fine tuning the areas where the hand is on top of the screen because this is the part of the footage that you want to see above the screen or UI layer. Make sure your edges are fairly smooth and not jagged. Sometimes when you hold the Alt key and try to subtract areas you don't want, the rotoscope tool subtracts footage that you actually do need, like parts of the hand itself. But just go back and draw over the portion of the hand that you want, and the rotoscope tool in a way somewhat learns exactly what you're trying to roto. So now I've roto the hand, I want to see what it looks like with the final uh, UI screen on the phone. So what I can do is view it by clicking on the composition tab so I can return to my composition. Here you can scrub through the timeline and view the newly rotoed hand above the screen UI. As you can see, this looks like a very mediocre roto. In order to fix this, I need to reduce the area around the hand so that I see less of the surroundings around the hand and I see more of the hand itself. What I will do is return to the layer I rotoed by clicking on the layer tab or once again double clicking on the roto layer itself. Now that I'm back on the rotoscope layer I can go frame by frame and subtract the areas around the hand. It's starting to look a little bit better, but let's say I want to roto, or better yet, I want to smooth the edges around the hand more. So on the left hand side, you'll see the effects panel for the roto brush tool. If you don't see it, just go to the menu bar at the top, select window, and click on the effects controls. In order to smooth the edges of the rotoed hand, what I can do is reduce the chatter by let's try 50%. You can adjust the other settings as well, but in this particular roto, I just need to make a few adjustments to the settings. If you want to see the final footage again, just return to the composition by clicking on the composition tab. It looks slightly better, but let's say I want to blend the edges of the hand more with the UI screen. In the effects panel, check the Use Motion Blur checkbox. This tool will end up blurring the edges of the rotoed hand, and in this case, blend it with the UI. 
So at this point, you can go back and forth between the composition and your rotoed layer and make more adjustments. Now if I return to the main composition and pre-render the footage by clicking on the zero key on the number pad of my keyboard, I can see the rotoscope in action. Once you're satisfied with your roto, you can go ahead and freeze the roto in the layer tab by clicking on the freeze button. This way you can finalize your roto. Once you freeze the rotoscope layer, you won't be able to make any more changes, but if you still need to make more changes, just click on the freeze button again to make more edits to the roto, but make sure you press the freeze button again. Now the roto is frozen. You can't make any more changes unless I click on the freeze button again. Now if I pre-render this video by pressing 0, I'll be able to see my final roto before I render the actual footage. And that's it.